Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. In the previous two videos, we talked about uh, classes and we created the student class and the credit card class. And in both videos, we talked about the class constructor, we talked about data members, uh, creating methods, and we also added uh, functionality to print our classes using uh, the string operator. So in this video, we're going to test your knowledge and you're going to create a class yourself and it's the we're going to make a vending machine system it's going to be uh, very simple we're going to have two methods and of course the string operator so that you can print the vending machine so here's what we have so far in a vending machine you have uh, products right you have items and you have the name of the item and the price so it could be like oreos or lays chips right and so far we have this item class which is given to you in this item class we have a constructor that takes in the name of the item and the price and then we also overloaded the string operator so that uh, when we print the item or convert the item to a string we it will be in the format of the name colon price okay so let's take a look at our vending machine class so far it's uh empty um, so let's see what we need. So the vending machine class, the constructor should take one parameter and that's the password. And this password is going to be for the admin. It's going to be for the vending machine owner. And when, uh, you know, when the owner opens up the vending machine, they want to add items, but only the owner should be able to do so. So that's why we have this password parameter. And then inside the uh, constructor, we'll, out, we'll also add three fields, the balance, so this is the amount of money that the vending machine has made. We'll also add a password, right? So this is the password that the vending machine owner sets. And we'll also add items. So items, this uh, field is going to be a list of items. So a list of uh, these, so item. And we're going to initialize balance to zero and items to an empty list. Okay, so there are two methods we need to add. One is add item and the other is purchase item. One is for admin use and the other is for the user. So this add item method should take in three parameters, name, price, and password. So name of the item, price of the item, and password. And you can assume that the name is going to be a string and that the price is going to be a positive number. So an integer or a flow. So in this method, uh, if the password entered is incorrect, we should just print a message incorrect password. We should not give anyone uh, with the wrong password access to the contents of the vending machine. If they get the password correctly, then we'll create a new item object uh, to represent the product and uh, pass in the name and price into the constructor. So right here. And then we'll add that to the list of items in our vending machine. And then for purchase item, this will be for the user. In the real world, a vending machine, uh, we don't ask the user to enter the name of the product that they want, right? We just ask them to enter a number, and that number will be uh, will correspond to the product. So, in this case, we'll just ask them for an index. So, if they want, uh, if they if they if Oreos is at index zero and they put in zero then they'll get Oreos. And you can assume that the index is positive and it will always be within range. The pay will also be positive and it'll be an integer or a float. So if the pay is not sufficient, we should not give the person the item. Instead, we should just uh, spit the money back out. Uh, so we'll return a tuple. So the pair should be none and money. Uh, otherwise, we'll make the transaction. We'll uh, take the price of the item uh, from the amount that they pay and then add it to our balance and then return them the item and the change. So in both cases, we have to return a tuple. And then finally, we have the string operator. And the string operator allows us to display the contents of the vending machine properly. Right? If we don't have this, then it's just going to display the memory address of the vending machine. So we want to display the contents properly. So we're going to, uh, the first line we should say vending machine balance, and then we should uh, display the current balance. And this is just for our convenience. And then after that, we should, uh, line by line, we should add, uh, we should display the contents of the vending machine, so the items. So it should be in this format. 
And luckily, this format is already provided to you uh, in the string operator of the item. So when you're creating a string to return for a vending machine, you should just uh, call string of the item. So just convert the item to a string and then add it to your uh, add it to the string that you will be returning in the vending machine. Okay, so we also have some test code for your convenience. So uh, I created a password, and this will be my password, Apple. And the wrong password is uh, banana. So when I create my vending machine, I put in the parameter password. And then here I add items, right? Over here we have an incorrect password entered uh, for Cheez-Its, which is uh, unfortunate because uh, Cheez-Its, uh, it's my favorite snack, but oh well. Um, so uh, this should uh, print incorrect password. And notice we have Oreos twice because again, uh, products are not necessarily unique in a vending machine. When we print our vending machine after adding our items, we should get this displayed. Right, again, the balance, so it starts at zero, and the contents of the vending machine. And after we uh, make some purchases, uh, it either returns none and the amount we paid, or we get the product and uh, the price of the product and our change. So after that, when we uh, make all our purchases, we see that our vending machine balance should be $5.50. And again, just the contents of the vending machine. Okay, so try to do this uh, yourself. It should take about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And then uh, in a few moments, we'll work on it together. All right, first things first, we need to work on a constructor. So what does it say? It says we need a balance, password, and items. So Let's do that. So self.balance, set that to zero. Self.password is going to be the parameter, password. And self.items is an empty list. Okay, so our constructor is done. Next, we need the add item method for the admin that takes in a name, price, and password. So let's do that. Add item. So it takes in self, right? And uh, sorry, <laughs> let's see what was it? Name, price, and password. Okay, so name, price, and password. Okay, so first things first, if uh, self.password is not equal to password, then we say, okay, you can't access the vending machine. Okay, so we'll print out, uh, what was the message? Incorrect password. Okay. Otherwise, we will create a new item. So item equals item, and we'll pass in the name and the price. And then we add it to our uh, vending machine. So this self.items, we're going to append the item. Okay, so that's all there is to adding an item. And then let's talk about, uh, what was the next method? Purchase item. Okay, so purchasing an item, it takes in uh, an index and pay. So self index pay. And again, we assume that the index and pay, uh, the user will in input uh, the correct types. So we don't have to uh, check for that. All we have to check for is uh, if the pay is sufficient or not, right? So just to make, uh, make it easier, I'm just going to get item equals self.items at the index. And then I will say if item dot price is greater than the pay, then we just print, uh, what was the error message? What was it here? Uh, oh, we don't print an error message. All right, we, we, uh, we return a tuple. We just return none and uh, the pay. So basically, they don't get the item, but they get all their money back. Otherwise, what do we do? We charge them for the item. So we'll say self.balance plus equal item.price. And then we want to get the change. So the change is going to be the amount that they pay minus item.price. And then we return 
the item and the change. Okay, so that should be it for add item and purchase item. And then we have this string operator. So let's do that string self. And so we want to iterate through uh, the items, this list of items. So we're going to use a for loop. Uh, first, uh, let's create a string that displays the balance. So we want vending machine balance. So let's take that from the test code. And then plus string of self.balance. And then plus, don't forget the new line character. All right, so this should display the first line vending machine balance, it starts at zero. And again, you have to convert your integer or float to a string so that you can add it. All right, so now let's use our for loop. So we can do for item in self dot items, we're going to do info plus equal string of item plus the new line character. And that should be it. So Let's uh, run our code. Incorrect password, string return non string. Whoops, I forgot to return uh, the string. Don't forget that. All right, let's run it. And there you go. So we have, let's compare our output. So we have an incorrect password, right? Because we tried to add Cheez Its. Uh, unfortunately, we can't add Cheez Its. So after that, we have before, which is right here. When we print our vending machine, we get the balance is zero. We get Oreos, 1.25, Lay's chips, 1.5, Coca-Cola, 1.75, Cheetos, 1.5, water, one, and Oreos again, 1.25. Okay, cool. And then we try to add, um, we try to purchase items. So let's see, we get none, right, because, um, the, the amount we entered was not sufficient. And then, uh, what is, oh, it's Oreos, right? So we tried to uh, buy Oreos for a dollar and it's like, the vending machine was like, nah, you gotta pay 125. So it just gave us back that dollar. And then uh, we tried to buy Oreos a second time, but we're like, all right, uh, we'll put in 150 this time. And it's like, okay, a little too much, but uh, we'll take that. So it's 125. And then you get your change, uh, which is a quarter. And then we have water, right? One, 1.5, Lay's chips. Uh, you put in the exact amount, so 1.5 for 1.5, so you get no change. And then Coca-Cola, uh, $50, a little bit too much, uh, quite a big bill. And we get uh, this money back, so 48.25 cents. And then afterwards, our balance is 5.5, okay? so. Uh, that's vending machine. Hopefully uh, you were able to complete this class and uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.